Welcome to another episode of Sports Insider. I'm your host, Casey Domke. We are only into our fourth season of NAIA Sports at GSU, and things are really looking good. Women's cross country sent a runner to the NAIA Nationals meet. The men's basketball have taken the CCAC crown and was invited to the national tournament. And just the other night, junior Amber Brooks from the women's basketball team hit two milestones with her 1,000th point and 700th rebound. Now I get to share with you more exciting news. Women's soccer is officially here at GSU. I have the pleasure of introducing you to our new women's soccer coach, Ante Kopp. Welcome to GSU. Now, so I guess the easiest place to start is uh, just who is Ante Kopp and let the audience know who we are. Great, uh, yeah, thank you for having me, Casey. Um, uh, Southside born Chicago guy, uh, been playing soccer all my life. Uh, started when I was a little bit younger, probably around like seven or eight. Uh, played professionally for 20 years, uh, was also an All-American in college over at Southern New Hampshire University D2 school. Um, just recently retired from playing, uh, been in coaching full-time since about 2005 at the college level. I uh, was at Dominican University D3 school out in the suburbs, uh, Robert Morris, uh, CCAC rival now, uh, Ball State University and IUPUI, and uh, I'm also a former pro coach. I was coaching professionally in indoor. Uh, with Cedar Rapids Rampage, and I'm also the current USA uh, Futsal National Team men's head coach. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, experience of being uh, a coach? You know, what, what the, some of the experiences you've had? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been lucky to experience a lot as a coach, uh, you know, going to national tournaments with, uh, with Dominican at the D3 level, um, you know, building a program from scratch at Robert Morris and, you know, making it into a top 10 uh, powerhouse in the NAIA. Um, you know, bringing Ball State to their first ever MAC final uh, championship game. And then at IUPUI, you know, coaching a, a current professional goalkeeper and uh, who's playing with FC Dallas as well. Um, you know, then you throw in the professional experience and uh, now the national team experience. And, uh, you know, I have soccer to thank for pretty much everything in my life. It's been pretty awesome uh, playing it and now coaching it. Yeah, sounds like a uh, sounds like a blast. Now, I understand you hold multiple coaching certificates. Can you let us know what some of them are? And for those who may not have heard about these certificates. Can you explain what they mean? Sure, there's a couple of different governing bodies here in the United States, uh, one being the United States Soccer Federation where I hold a B national license. Um, I'm a current candidate and been recommended for the A national license, which used to be the top license, but now the USSF Pro license is the top license. And I'm uh, pretty sure I'll be going for that once I finish my A. Uh, then there is the United Soccer Coaches of America Diploma System. I have the Premier Diploma, which is the top diploma in the country. Uh, I also have the National Goalkeeper License, which is the top goalkeeper license in the country. And then there's the United States Amateur Soccer Association, where I have the National License, which is the top license there for in, in that uh, governing body. Impressive background. What drew you to the GSU coaching position? Uh, I think the uh, opportunity to start something new, uh, to give an opportunity to, you know, girls who might be overlooked by other programs, bigger programs, and give them a chance to, you know, come in here and, and start a new tradition and, you know, start a, a brand new successful program. Um, you know, and really give them an opportunity to come in and, and be coached by someone who is as passionate and as purposeful as I am and make sure that they, you know, uh, not only use soccer as a conduit to get an education, but, uh, you know, a chance to play in a pretty well-funded conference in the CCAC and, you know, possibly get into those national tournaments and, and try to, you know, get, get on that national scene as quickly as possible. And now I've heard you, uh, you're doing some scouting in the next couple of days here? Yeah, I've got uh, four girls coming on campus ready in the next two days to visit, uh, get to show them around the campus, and then uh, tell them a little bit about what my plans are for the program coming up in the fall. And I also have multiple meetings and uh, guest coaching spots coming up now at uh, junior colleges and uh, clubs over on here in the Chicago area and in the Indianapolis area in, about in the next couple of weeks. So it's, uh, it's fun times. And I also going scouting to both the ECNL event and the Disney showcase coming up in Florida in a couple weeks as well. So, so you're yeah. going to be busy here uh, <laughs> trying to get some recruits in here. Yeah, well, when you start with zero, you got to build up, right? right? We like, we, that's what we like. You know? <laughs> now, what kind of coaching philosophy do you adhere to? I'm a very attack-minded uh, coach. Uh, I'm, uh, my, my coaching idol is Sir Alex Ferguson from Manchester United. And, uh, you know, he always brought the best out of all the, the, you know, the guys that came through that program there. Um, I like to follow in his footsteps and win as many trophies as possible as well. Um, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a player's coach. Uh, my coach to the individual, but keep it in that team aspect. Um, you know, I want to get the best out of each player. And I know that if I get the best out of each player, 
and then they bring that into the team, you know, that team environment, that team concept. Uh, I found that it works, you know, really, really well. It has helped me both, at, well, it's helped me at the pro level, the college level, and at the youth level as well in clubs. So hoping to, you know, make sure that that's, uh, that's as successful here at Governor State as it's been in the past with me. And uh, I know we just talked, talked about the recruits, but why should possible recruits look your way toward uh, GSU? Well, first, because I think the opportunity is is here to, you know, really start something brand new. And I think that, you know, I'm going to be looking for players who have that same sort of uh, philosophy that I do that, you know, hey, let's build and let's let's make something, you know, brand new as good as possible. Um, I know that the academics here at GSU are very strong as well. Um, and I hope that, you know, once they once the girls meet me and they see that I'm as passionate about the sport as I am and, uh, you know, giving them that opportunity, I think they're going to be wanting they're going to want to join in on the fun. And I think uh, fun is winning, as uh, was our Chicago White Sox uh, head coach Isaac Gian used to say, right? Mm -hmm. Winning is fun, fun is winning. So hopefully we, you know, we do both of those. But I think that you know, I, I want that kind of player that sees the, the opportunity is fresh and for them to come in from wherever they are, JC club, uh, high school, wherever like that, and hey, you know, try to bring something brand new and, 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 and a winning program here at GSU. Anything else you'd like to share that we did not touch on? No, I'm just, uh, I, I can't thank uh, our athletic director, Tony, uh, any more than I've already have in the last couple of weeks since I've been hired. Uh, you know, I think it's been brilliant. Um, I, I just can't wait to start. And like I said, I've, I think I've already started in the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the excitement and, uh, you know, my, uh, my lack of sleep uh, has uh, doubled as, uh, you know, when I got uh, hired. And, um, you know, I, as again, I, I hope to bring, you know, something uh, quickly successful to GSU and uh, you know hope to make uh, hope to bring a program to the school that you know everyone in the athletic department and everyone at the school are are very proud of and are going to want to come watch uh, again and again and again. Well that about wraps it up for today we want to thank Ante Kopp for stopping in and visiting with us especially since he has a lot to accomplish in the next nine months. Keep an eye out for future episodes of Sports Insider and hopefully future success with the GSU women's soccer team. I'm Casey Donkey. So long, everybody.